Hello everyone, ET Studios here, and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool trick you can do a space engineer. So I was flipping around on the developer screen, I went to the render tab, you go down to environment light, and you can change, first of all, the time of day, if you didn't know that, it's quite a common tool everyone uses, and then under that you can change the colour. Just hold alt and drag it around, you can change the colour of everything. Look at that. I can change it to yellow, I can change it to super bright, white, I can change the intensity of the light, I put the intensity up to maximum, so even if the sun's on the other side of the planet, it's still super, super bright. So I can change it to black, and turn the intensity right down, and this is the middle of the day. So, look at that, that's the middle of the day right there, and it's super bright, super dark, so. And it's really, really cool, I thought this is a pretty cool trick, if you want to make things look really, really dark, and gloomy at night, and there's like a a scene in your little RP mini movie or something, and you've, you've been attacked. It's still quite bright in here, because I haven't changed down the intensity that much, and I turned it all up to white. But look at this, it looks really cool. I mean, this is normal rain, basically, with a bit more brightness. But you can change it to blue, you can change it to red, you can change it to green, you can change anything. And this is really cool. You can have an alien planet on Earth without even changing anything but the light. So just Take that and you can change it. Like I can turn my intensity right down to the middle of the day. That's about normal right there. And I can change it to dark. It can be really, really dark. Now I'll skip ahead to when I make nighttime super dark. Like the only thing you can see is a little bit of grass if you ride up close to it. You can see the stars really bright. And look, I can change the background light too. I can change the intensity of the background. So I can make the trees and the background ma mountains far away to go blue which I think is cool like I've turned off the background now and I've turned it up now it's turned it black it's not been doing anything so I then went and turned everything off and I turned out with a really really dark death dark background look at that that is dark for a little bit there. I'll skip ahead to when I get really, really dark. I just thought it was a really cool tip for you guys. It's a really short little video. It's really fun to do. And uh, I'm making a little RP set of it. It's like a middle of the night. So I've got some fire. I've got some nice particles in the background. I just wanted it dark. So there we go. I've turned it to night. And as you can see, it's still quite bright because of the grass. But as soon as I turn that off, look at that, everyone. Look at that. That is so dark. If I turned off my UI, you can't see a thing but the background of the stars with ambient background light. But look how dark that is, everyone. It's like super, super dark. And I just thought, okay, cool. This is like, woohoo. Because everyone's always complaining that you can never get actual darkness in space engineers. It's always that little bit of light. And there's no point putting lights up anymore. Well, if you turn this on, everyone, then woohoo for you. You've got super, super dark at night and... Well, too super, super dark at daytime too. But look at that. I, I can't even see the block. It's just transparent. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I just thought this was a nice little neat treat trick for you all to uh, have a look at uh, to modify yourself. It's really fun for the little movies you make in Space Engineers on YouTube. And even if you're just playing on your own with your friends, just tell them to turn down this brightness and look really, really cool. And if you're in a dark corridor or something, it's not actually dark, just turn this down and it'll be super, super dark. So I hope this helps everyone with their little movies and I just thought I might as well show you a little trick. And look at that. But the blocks look uh, yellow in the background. But they're not. They're grey. It's the normal grey that you start with. That's how dark it is. You can hardly see the blocks and I love it. You can finally have actual darkness in space and things. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you... Uh, find something out of this trick to help you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.